we are trying so this paper discusses two skills the first skill is verbal and non verbal communication strategies to develop positive relations with learners now according to the paper a uh, true relationship building starts and ends with how we talk to students and there are three critical components that we need to keep in mind when we are talking to students the first aspect is the words that we choose um we have to choose the right words and we will discuss that in detail uh, elaborate on that uh, slightly um the second is how you would say the words you choose so i think how you talk um you know not just the words so we can say thank you in 20 different ways and maybe only two of them are really sounding as if we are thankful uh so how we say things are also equally important and then the third aspect is do our actions uh really complement our words so what about the the non verbal communication so these are the three aspects which are critical to define how we talk to students let me quickly share with you what the paper talks about uh what are the qualities of thoughtful teacher word choice so a thoughtful teacher how would he choose the right words uh the first important criteria is that we need to be predictable we don't want to keep our students guessing um there are certain mental barriers uh while we are communicating and to remove those mental barriers it's important that students understand and the expectations of students are met um so if suppose you want to give a particular message and and there are so many times in school uh, where we have to give the same set of message multiple times to different people or to the same people then using the same language is very important so if we use the same words same language uh, then it makes it easy for students to focus on what is important uh, it also talks about using songs and chants to make key transitions routine and fun so if suppose there is a song that they all sing before they have a lunch break or a small chant that they all say before they have a you know sports period i think that makes it slightly more um relatable to them and the that is a positive communication uh it's important to be clear and concise uh we as teachers we should focus on what is important that we want to communicate uh deliver directions and even academic content in bite sized portions so please do not uh you know it's not a 3 hour movie but a 5 minute video clip that they are used to especially that these kids are digital natives uh so they don't like uh you know a very long explanation of stuff so you might want to break them down into smaller chunks whenever you are giving directions um uh, and also avoid long lectures or sermons about behavior uh the time has gone where we could take some kids in a hall uh, make them sit for half an hour and give them a long lecture on what we are expecting from their behavior those things may not really work or may not be very effective your words must also to convey a sense of possibility so instead of focusing on what students uh are you know doing wrong we need to focus on what we want them to do so you know, the language that you choose must be forward looking and positive uh, so we do not want to talk about what is uh if somebody is breaking a rule uh we don't want to talk about the breaking of the rule so what what we need to talk about is what we want to uh want our students to do so following the rule is important and breaking the rule will get you into trouble that is not something the word uh, that those are not the words that we want to choose also during your conversation if you can highlight specific achievements towards 
any goal that you have set so choose words which specifically uh, talk about their achievement so they have to be positive words that you're choosing and not negative words so if they've done something right uh, let's talk about that uh, and help them improve i think that's a very important thing the other thing is that it should be culturally responsive and what that really means is that we need to look at the backgrounds of students and make sure uh, that in the words that we choose uh, we are sensitive to their backgrounds i think it's very important sometimes the backgrounds of teachers and students are very different uh, and therefore there is a lack in how we are saying something and what the other person interprets it so we have to choose words which uh, do not cause that confusion um, which are easily understood by students of different backgrounds and it's also the, the paper also talks about the, the teachers should be very um, conscious and aware about how the backgrounds of different people impact communication so you may choose a word which uh, doesn't really work well in a for a certain um, culture so i think if if that is the case we need to be very very clear about uh, we have to learn from students about them because if we want to keep in mind their background it is important for us to listen to them ask questions and provide them you know a chance to talk to us um, tell us anything that they want to tell us about themselves which can help so i think we have to go in the class to learn from students about them that is that also creates uh, you know better uh, response to any cultural deviations that we have and also asking questions tells the students that you are interested in them you believe in them uh, and it gives us an opportunity to prompt reflection uh so it's very important we choose the right kind of words when we are talking you know why do you think this happened uh so if instead of if two students are fighting you know uh one of them gets angry and they are fighting for some reason so instead of just going there and uh, punishing them or giving them you know something negative uh maybe we need to ask them a question you know why do you think this happened and why do you think this happened with this particular student so let them reflect on what is happening in their life rather than just directly you know reprimanding them that's just one example this can happen in in multiple places so asking questions is is a very important thing how do we say the words we choose very quickly we need to be calm and compassionate at all times even though we may not have been having a good day for whatever reason but we cannot let uh, what we are going through in our lives or in our day uh, impact how we interact with students so they will be able to really uh, tell whether a student whether, whether a teacher is angry or mad at something not happy so we need to be calm and compassionate when we are talking to our students that's very important uh, no sarcasm so we a lot of times you know we adults may uh, if a student is actually gotten uh, 90% marks and we might sarcastically tell him that oh this time even you got 90% marks now these kind of uh, you know conversations don't go well so we cannot be sarcastic with our students we have to come across as very sincere people who appreciate their performance no highs and lows we need to be very consistent um in in our conversation uh, and as we you know looked at earlier also the way you speak to them should prompt reflection um and i think that's a very very important skill uh, and the second thing is that even when you are stressed you have to maintain your tone uh, you cannot let your tone get out of control and that could happen through a lot of self awareness uh, how do you align the words and actions 
Well, the first is adjust your body position, uh, proximity to the child to create a safe uh, environment for the child. So if you're talking to a first grade student, then it's better to sit down on the floor and talk to the student. If you're standing and talking to a first grade student, then obviously what you have done is you have already created that imbalance of power. Uh, so sit down on the floor, talk to them by sitting on the floor. Um, or so in, in whatever way, and I think it's also important for senior uh, teachers that if you are speaking to a girl, you maintain proper distance so that you do not, uh, you do not make uh, you know, her conscious and you do not create a sense of insecurity. So maintaining the right proximity uh, and also the body position can help a lot. That is very important for us. Uh, looking in the eye is very important. Uh, so when you're talking to a student, show that you care about them, look students in the eye, uh, but how you look is also very important. Uh, you need to look at uh, with care and compassion. Uh, you can't stare uh, in the eye of a child. Uh, be aware of your own facial expressions. Sometimes we as adults, we are not mindful and we are not aware of our own facial uh, expressions, but our students are able to read that with ease. Uh, so if we, if, uh, uh, you know, if you are mocking somebody and you have a facial expression that is mocking somebody, they would know that very quickly. So please be aware of uh, how your facial expressions are changing. Uh, keep an open and relaxed posture. That's very important. Uh, so you don't want to be jittery. You don't want to be moving around too fast. Uh, seem like a relaxed person. Uh, and also synchronize your body to complement student emotions. So it's important if you are talking to a student who has gotten hurt, right, who has fell down from the, on the floor and that child is hurt, and if you're talking to them, please make sure that your body is reflecting that you understand that the child is in pain. Uh, I think these are very important uh, you know, ways in which we can do that. Very quickly, a few suggestions that we feel schools can do. Uh, the first important thing is figure out how you will monitor and measure how teachers talk to students. Uh, so students survey. If you have never done that, you know, maybe a student survey on what they feel, you know, how do they think their teachers talk to them? So design a quest, some questions and get their feedback. Uh, an invisible shadow might be a very good idea, uh, but the shadow should be invisible so that you can capture the conversation between teachers and students without making either of them conscious that they are being noted. Uh, lesson observation template, again, it should be part of it as to how are we measuring it, how are we monitoring it, and even the teacher appraisal uh, should have a factor which talks about uh, how teachers talk to students and uh, what kind of relationships they have with students. Now, these are, you know, maybe two different things, but they are related to each other. Uh, let's, the way we focus on creating lesson plans as schools, we need to focus on strategies for developing student-teacher student connect. So sometimes we take it for granted. We don't give it as much importance. But it may turn out that if we spent more time on building those relationships, uh, delivery of those lessons may become very effective. Because once the relationships are in place, then even very tough lesson plans can be executed with ease. Um, so I think that should be the focus. And also identify some teachers in your school who talk to students in a very, uh, in the right manner uh, and make them the champions of change. Uh, ask them to mentor other teachers who may not be uh, talking to students uh, as desired uh, within your institute. Uh, for teachers, I think it's important step 
to become aware that how your communication is impacting your relationship. So first of all, it's important that it impacts. So we need to understand that part uh, very clearly. Sometimes we ignore that. It's going, to, and you, it's going to take some time and effort for you to do it. So it's not going to be something that happens uh, immediately. So please invest uh, that time and effort. One of the important things is to know your students. So how well do you know your students is very important if you want to talk to them in a constructive manner, in a positive manner. Uh, be thoughtful in interacting with your students, both verbal and nonverbal. Um, that's very critical uh, for teachers and be mindful and self-aware. Um, and these are something that teachers can do while interacting with students. And, and here are some suggestions that uh, schools can do. And obviously the last is, please be aware of what triggers you uh, and what knocks you off. So we are all humans uh, because we want to be nice to student does not mean we can be God. Um, we are all humans. We have good days, bad days, good moments, bad moments. But please be very aware of what those triggers are for you so that you can avoid a communication with students during those times. Um, in these two workshops that we do at Connect to Learn, uh, we address these topics in detail. So if anybody wants to know more about these workshops, please let us know and we'll be happy to share the details with you.